Nusser Mazraoui turns down West Ham to wait for Manchester United. Speaking on his YouTube channel about a number of Premier League-related deals, Romano got onto the subject of both Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Nusser Mazraoui. And talking about the situation at Manchester United and West Ham with their full-back search, Romano offered the following update on the situation. First of all, Nusser Mazraoui has decided to give total priority to Manchester United. He would love to go to Man United, he wants Man United, so Mazraoui is waiting for Man United, Romano said. The agreement on personal terms will not be a problem. The crucial step is what happens with Juan Bissaka. United will only bring a new right back in if Juan Bissaka leaves. Interest from Inter is true, but he would also be prepared to wait in terms of opportunities. Maybe with West Ham, because Mazraoui is not going to West Ham. Between clubs the deal was advanced but with the player it was never done because Mazraoui is giving clear priority to Man United. United, then, need to simply put a deal together to bring Mazraoui to England. The defender will battle it out with Diogo Dalit at fullback should Aaron Juan Bissaka move on, as Romano suggests here. Mazraoui, 26, has won four league titles in his career already, including three while at Ajax, where he worked with Ten Hag. Ruud van Nistelrooy looks to be making a big impact at Manchester United on the training ground ahead of the 2024-25 season. The Dutchman was appointed as Eric Ten Hag's assistant manager earlier in the summer and is already putting his stamp on training sessions. The 48-year-old has previous experience as a manager, taking charge at Eredivisie outfit PSV Eindhoven between 2022 and 2023. This could be a huge benefit for Ten Hag's side with Van Nistelrooy bringing his own ideas and knowledge to the table. Bringing in a club icon was a clever move on the part of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the decision makers at Old Trafford too. Van Nistelrooy is among the greatest strikers to have played for the Red Devils. He netted 150 times in 219 appearances and his lethal nature in front of goal could help the current group of forwards at the club. Van Nistelrooy's training sessions the Dutch coach is already implementing his ideas. Ruud van Nistelrooy before Man United's friendly against Rangers. Footage has emerged of the Dutch coach taking the lead in many training drills. Van Nistelrooy is one of the most deadly finishers in Premier League history and his influence could see players such as Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland and Joshua Zerksy improve their efficiency in front of goal. Footage has emerged of the Dutch coach taking the lead in many training drills. Van Nistelrooy is one of the most deadly finishers in Premier League history and his influence could see players such as Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland and Joshua Zerksy improve their efficiency in front of goal. One clip has shown the impact his expertise could already be having on forward players as Van Nistelrooy could be heard shouting for Rashford to quicken it up. This prompted the English winger to cut inside and unleash a powerful effort into the bottom corner. Van Nistelrooy was the master at taking shots early to catch opposition goalkeepers out, and this could be a key skill he helps Rashford and co-add to their games. Another of his sessions was geared towards wing play. The importance of utilizing the flanks effectively is stressed in this particular drill as Van Nistelrooy has his players taking part in a small-sided game, but double points are awarded if either team creates a goal from the wide areas. Sky Sports reporter Melissa Reddy was live at Man United's training camp in the USA, and she informed viewers, Ruud van Nistelrooy was overseeing an attacking drill that focused on repetitive patterns. It bodes well for Red Devils supporters that one of the greatest to ever do it for their club is now the driving force behind the attacking future of the current time. The benefits to Rashford and co. United didn't score enough goals last season. Man United's top goal scorers for the 2023-24 season were Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hoyland, who both scored 10 league goals. Supporters became used to the likes of Van Nistelrooy, Cristiano Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney consistently putting up 30 goal campaigns, but the standards appear to have dropped in recent times. Rashford and Alejandro Garnaco both only managed to find the net seven times in the Premier League last term, and both will be looking to improve under their new coach. The drills surrounding the importance of using the wings could also benefit the pair as their assist numbers will be expected to improve if Van Nistelrooy's work on the training round translates into in-game success.
Manchester United have welcomed Andreas Jorgsen to their coaching staff as the overhaul at Old Trafford continues. The 42-year-old arrives from Norwegian side Lillestrøm where he held the position of head coach since January. Jorgsen is known for his set-piece coaching skills, honed during his time at Brentford under Thomas Frank's guidance. His coaching journey also includes stints at Arsenal and Southampton. This season, United's backroom staff has seen new additions with René Haak and Ruud van Nistelrooy joining as assistants to manager Eric Ten Hag. The goalkeeping coach role has been taken over by Jel Ten Raualar, replacing Richard Hartis. Earlier this summer, United bid farewell to Ten Hag's former assistant Mitchell van der Gogh and first-team coach Benny McCarthy. Eric Ramsey, another former coach, left for Minnesota United. In the revamped setup, Jorgsen will work alongside Steve McLaren and Darren Fletcher, both first-team coaches. This move is part of a series of changes following an end-of-season review by Ineos into the club's management and footballing situation. Despite a disappointing season that saw United finish eighth, their worst Premier League standing since the league began, the review led by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Dan Ashworth resulted in Ten Hag retaining his position. Despite the league performance, United ended on a high note, clinching the FA Cup with a stunning victory over Man City. Ashworth penned a public letter to football fans earlier this week. In this, he stated, Omar Berada has started as chief executive, and Jason Wilcox as technical director, and I can assure you that we have lost no time in getting to work. Our first big decision of the summer was to extend Eric Ten Hag's contract as men's first team manager to June 2026, reflecting our strong belief in him as one of Europe's top coaches, and the partner we want to continue working with to get the team back to the levels expected. We are all clear that last season fell below the required standards in the Premier League and Champions League but, by winning the FA Cup in such impressive fashion, our players and staff showed what they are capable of when everyone pulls together and performs to their potential. Our collective challenge is to reach those levels much more consistently. It's my job, together with Jason, to create the right support structures and environment around Eric, the staff and players to make that possible. Already, I can feel a strong sense of energy and determination around the group, as the players and staff return fresh from their breaks, including some exciting new additions to the squad and to the coaching team. One of the toughest transfer market challenges Sir Jim Ratcliffe has to face is eradicating the Manchester United tax. Over the years, clubs have hoiked up the price tag for their player when dealing with the global behemoth that is United, whose worldwide acclaim guarantees them vast revenues of income. Where that money goes is a question many fans have asked, but some of it has indeed been spent on inflated transfer fees. Examples include £89 million on Paul Pogba eight years ago and more recently £85 million and £60 million on Anthony and Mason Mount respectively. United have too often agreed overpriced moves with the hope that it will work out. Ratcliffe has already shown he is on a mission to change this. Past transfer dealings mean United are thought to be working on a net spend of just £50 million this summer, in light of profit and sustainability rules. Ratcliffe refused to meet evidence £70 million asking price for Jared Branthwaite and instead landed Lenny Euro, a European hot prospect, for an initial £52 million. Joshua Zerksi was captured for £36 million, just a year after United were charged double for Rasmus Hoyland. Of course, Hoyland is viewed to have a higher ceiling of potential, but there are only two years between the pair. Meanwhile, a classic example of United's past transfer business is Aaron Juan Basaka, who has not fulfilled his £50 million price tag. He has been a noble servant of five years but it seems the right back is poised to move on this summer. Reports suggest he could be used as part of a swap deal with Inter for Denzel Dumfries. Meanwhile, Nusser Mazraoui has been linked with United, some might say unsurprisingly given he is a former Ajax player of Eric Ten Hag. It is speculated that United are in talks with the Bayern Munich fullback, who is said to have cut off talks with West Ham over the past 24 hours. Mazraoui was acquired by the Bavarians for free in 2022, so any move would denote a profit. United will know this and will have also seen the figures widely circulated in relation to West Ham's transfer interest in the Moroccan. 
It is said that a deal had agreed between Bayern and the Hammers worth an initial £13.5 million with add-ons of a further £3 million. Even if these figures are a couple of million off, United have their cap. A player is worth a certain value no matter which club they move to, Ratcliffe can argue. Bayern themselves might be spitting feathers that a deal had been agreed upon before Mazraoui backed out, thus revealing their hand. The German giants can't even argue for a price increase due to United being a European rival, with the two clubs playing in different competitions next season. There is an overarching question over all of this, obviously, is Mazraoui worth bringing in? The 26-year-old started 24 matches last season and would have earned more but for two injuries and his participation in the Africa Cup of Nations. He has won four domestic titles, three in the Netherlands and one in Germany, and is a World Cup semi-finalist. So for £16.5 million, perhaps he is worth his salt. What's more, it would help United's coffers in light of spending limits and likely cost less than what Juan Bissaka might get sold for. Mazraoui entering talks with West Ham, having a fee agreed, and then having second thoughts might have just helped Ratcliffe in his mission to cut out the United tax.